around this time each year, especially when the winds of spring blow really hard, I think about the record for the highest surface wind speed ever directly measured by an anemometer, 231 miles per hour, proudly held since April 1934 by Mount Washington, New Hampshire. Well, earlier this year, the legendary winds of the mountain that bills itself as the home of the world's worst weather were bumped to second place. The World Meteorological Organization announced that a new global wind speed record was set on Barrow Island off the northwest coast of Australia. Now this island is the leading producer of petroleum and natural gas in Australia. And the instrument that took the reading is owned by Chevron, the oil company. The record wind of 253 miles per hour actually occurred 14 years ago on April 10, 1996 during passage of a powerful cyclone named Olivia. Cyclone is what they call a hurricane there. Because the data was collected by a private company, it was not immediately available to forecasters. And even after experts at the Australian Bureau of Meteorology learned of the measurement, it was viewed as suspect because it was so extreme. But a couple persistent meteorologists believed the wind data, checked the instrument, and eventually presented their case to the World Meteorological Organization's seven-member extremes committee, and they approved the new record earlier this year. Cyclone Olivia did produce significant damage when it hit northwestern Australia, but at first glance, it wouldn't suggest a record-setting wind. For comparison, when Olivia crossed Barrow Island, it was a bit weaker than Hurricane Andrew when it hit Florida, with a central pressure of 930 millibars and sustained winds of 145 miles per hour. However, a handful of very intense hurricanes, including Andrew, are thought to contain small-scale whirls called mesovortices that can produce extreme wind gusts. Hurricane Hunter aircraft have encountered these while flying about 1,000 feet up near the centers of Hurricane Hugo and Isabel. But measurements at the ground are hard to get because the anemometers are usually destroyed. These mesovortices typically form on the inner edge of the eye wall of a hurricane, where pressure and wind speed are changing rapidly. In Olivia, wind gusts of 232 and 229 miles per hour were also measured in the hours surrounding the record gust at time intervals consistent with what a mesovortex would produce. The Barrow Island instrument was a heavy-duty anemometer mounted on a 10-meter tower that was built to withstand hurricane force winds. It just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Now, Mount Washington fans can take some solace in that their 231 mile per hour wind gust remains the fastest surface wind ever observed in the western and northern hemispheres, the fastest not associated with a hurricane, and the fastest ever observed at a manned surface station. The facility on Barrow Island is not inhabited. Paul Knight is back with the extended forecast next.